training in Kenya? Are you with Paul? I'm training here for a month, yeah. I brought some, like a camp of people that I coach to spend a week here. And then I stay a month training and learning and just sharing and just here to learn and run fast and get better as a person and as an athlete. That's why it's an honor for me to I get know, to know I, you in person. I, I just hung around longer than anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In this episode of Training in Kenya, we're trying to do something a little bit different. We want to help you build a Kenyan training program for a week. So basically, I'm going to tell you exactly what they do on a normal week, and then you can use that and modify it for your own training. Again, Kenyans run really hard. They run a lot of miles. But you can take this plan and this program and modify it for it to be good for you and your own training. So if you're a person that's trying to break four hours in the marathon, 3.30, you want to break three hours, you still can use the Kenyan program. You just have to make sure to make it your own. So I'm going to go day by day explaining what they do and why they do it and then maybe see if that works for you. I'm not here to tell you this is what you should do. Uh, I am a coach and I use some of the Kenyan program and some of their workouts and I modify that in order to help my athletes. My athletes are all amateurs trying to break 4 hours, 3.30 or sub 3 in the marathon. So I take these workouts, I take this structure and I make it in a way where it works for them. These athletes of mine, they have to uh, work they have to spend time with their family and they have to train. So they need to find the balance in order for it to be successful, for them to be successful in the three aspects of their life. Because if you are training really hard but you're not putting effort in your work and then something happens at work and you get laid off, then you, know, you won't be able to train as well because you don't have a job. Or if you're not spending enough time with your family, then you might have some family issues then you won't be able to train as well because your mind is going to be somewhere else so you need to keep a good balance which is something that the kenyans don't have to do because they're professional runners and they're focused on training day in and day out they don't have to do any other things i mean they do have family and all that but they're focused 100 they live in it just focused on training which my amateur athletes don't do it so just know keep that in mind when you're building your own program but i'm here just to help you and to explain what they do why and how and then you see if that works for you and maybe you make it happen for you so the kenyan training program goes from monday to saturday with sundays off uh, they take Sunday off because they are Catholics, most of them are Catholics and they go to church on Sunday and Sunday is a day to rest and just spend some time with the family, go to church and give some time for God. Uh, so from Monday to Saturday they're training two sessions a day, in the morning and then in the afternoon. In the afternoon they always do an easy run of about 10 kilometers or so, it's one hour very easy. And when I say very easy, it's extremely easy, very, very, very slow. It doesn't matter how fast you are, how slow you are, they will always run very slow in the afternoon. And this goes from Monday to Friday, so five days a week, where they do a second run of one hour. For my amateur athletes, for my athletes that I coach, I usually don't give them a second run. Only about 10 to 15% of them do a second run. Um, and this is mostly the athletes that are trying to break three hours but I in my opinion just doing one run a day a good workout a day is more than enough and then also keeping the 80 20 rule I think is important for my athletes where 80% of your runs are slow or conversational pace or let's just say zone one or zone two and then 20% of the running it's actually fast it's workouts it's progressive progressions, progressive long runs and such. So 80-20, where if you're running 100 miles for a week, for example, then 80 of those miles are gonna be easy, 20 of those miles are gonna be hard. This is just, you know, uh, they're all theories. Uh, it doesn't mean that they're exactly right, and it doesn't mean that you have to do them exactly like that. 
and it doesn't mean that I totally agree with them it's just the training that we learn and the training that we do it kind of goes that way and I try to respect that as much as I can but it doesn't have to be exactly like that specifically like that so let's start with Monday Monday is an easy run it's a day to start your week uh, usually in the morning we do 15 to 16 kilometers so about 10 miles and this can be easy slash progressive I call it easy by personal feel which means if you feel good you can run a little bit progressive if you're tired you can just keep it slow that's it very simple just an easy conversational run in Kenya they do it as a big group so you can have a hundred people running in, in a group and sometimes they can get competitive and it can get a little progressive and it can get a little faster at the end but again remember the Kenyans are professional runners we're trying to do this for a person that's trying to break three hours or 330 so it's different so keep that in mind uh, throughout this week of training so Monday in the morning 10k uh, 10 miles 16 kilometers easy it could be progressive by personal feel then when we finish we do some strides usually four or five strides of 15 seconds it can be heel strides as well so where we do 15 seconds up pretty fast then you walk down then 15 seconds up fast you walk down you do that four or five times so that's it for the Monday run we finish with some exercises as well um, so a little bit of drills here and there and that's it then afternoon on Monday an easy run 10 kilometers or so so six miles or so very 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 slow I'm talking uh, for a Kenyan which is a pretty fast runner they must they run nine minute ten minute miles so for them that are running you know four thirty five minute miles in the morning then running ten minutes in the afternoon is a big difference then Tuesday is the track workout so they have different options of track workouts they have Kenyans have the Tambach track which is a dirt track they have Eldoret track which is a tarmac uh, tartan track like an actual track and the workouts can vary a lot it depends on your next race if you have a marathon coming up a half a 10k a 5k so if you're you know working on your speed then the workouts are going to be a little more speedy if you're training for the marathon then i'm sure you're going to be doing longer reps so for example some of the workouts that i did when i was in kenya uh, i did 15 by 600 meters which was a really hard workout um, i've done 10 by 1k i've done uh, uh, five minute reps so it depends on your workout here I'm not gonna give you a specific I'm just saying Tuesday is the track day so it's a really hard day it's where you put the most the biggest effort of the week uh, in the morning and then in the afternoon another easy run so that's Tuesday Tuesday is usually track workout then Wednesday is medium long run for in Kenya they do huge groups and the medium long run can go between 20 kilometers to 25k maybe so 13 miles 14 miles or something like that and they make it progressive so here because the groups are so big they can get pretty fast and they can get pretty progressive but I would suggest for you make it also effort by feeling depending on how you feel if you want to make it a little progressive at the end you can but don't feel like you have to. If you need to recover from the day before, from the workout on Tuesday, then you can do it a lot slower. And then maybe if you feel good at the end, progress. If not, leave it like that. And then in the afternoon, another easy run. Me personally, on Wednesdays, I don't do a second run. It's like a day where I just focus in the morning to get my training in, and then I'm done for the day. And that's it. Um, but in Kenya they always do a second run so it depends basic, basically it's up to you up to your training whatever you want to do Thursday is far leg day in Kenya in Kenya we have two far legs the Boston far leg and the two tires far leg it literally nobody knows what the far leg is until you get there and two minutes before you're ready to start so literally you're warmed up and ready they tell you what the program is the program is the training and it could be one minute on one minute off it could be two minutes on one minute off it could be three minutes on two off it could be five minutes on it could be whatever they want basically whatever the coaches decide they'll tell you and then we have to do it and Thursdays is a really hard day because far legs in Kenya because it's so up and down and 
the roads are so rocky it's super difficult day so basically if you're trying to use this training for you it's a far leg day and you can make it anything you want from one minute two minutes three minutes there's so many different type of far legs that you can do but it's a really hard effort and a really hard day and then in the afternoon a second run again then Friday is an easy recovery day. Fridays, uh, you wanna be recovering because on Saturday you're gonna do your long run. So you definitely need to take it easy. So here we do in the morning around 12 kilometers, like eight miles to 16 kilometers to 10 miles. So eight to 10 miles, 12 to 16 kilometers, but very easy. Um, conversational pace, just go out for a run, have fun, recover chat with your friends, do whatever you need to do in order to be ready for the next day. Afternoon session on Friday, same thing. Six, kilo, uh, six miles, 10 kilometers, very slow. Just recover, take it easy, and be ready for the next day. Saturday, okay, Saturday is probably the most important day of the week or the second most important day of the week after the workout. Depends on you. For me, Saturday is definitely the most important day of the week because it's the long run. And the long runs is something that I wanna like work hard, run fast, run progressive. And I mean, it depends on where you are in your training. But when I'm in Kenya, long runs are very important because I'm usually pretty close to a race or to a marathon and I wanna put a lot of emphasis into it. So we go anywhere from 25 kilometers to 40 kilometers depending again when you are where you are in your training and it doesn't always have to be fast or a specific marathon pace but most of the time it is either progressive or it has some up and down variations on pace or you know where we do 10 kilometers easy 10 kilometers pretty progressive and 10 kilometers at race pace Again, Kenya is at altitude, 2,500 meters of elevation, so we do have to keep that into consideration when we're running fast paces, but they honestly don't care. They just run really fast. So the long run, um, the last long runs that I did were usually around 30 kilometers, maybe a little bit more, and we averaged 320 to 315 per kilometer, so pretty fast, considering that it's at altitude. So a really hard effort, um, they train as a big group, they have in the matatus, so the little vans that they use, they have people where they give you the waters and the gels because that's something that you need to practice. The 12 weeks before your marathon, we're always working on pace, effort, mileage, all that, but we want to put a lot of effort and emphasis into the gels that you're taking, the hydration and the nutrition that you're taking that you're gonna be using in your race. It's super important to do that, so we do that. Sunday, recovery day, rest day, family day, church day. Take it easy, do whatever you need to do, recover, and then go again next week. So yeah, I think that covers a week of training in Kenya. Um, of course, this is gonna depend on where you're racing, how fast you're trying to run, who you're training with, who's your coach, it's gonna change a little bit but basically that's the week of training that most Kenyans follow and that I want you guys if you want to try it for your own training again uh, disclaimer uh, I'm just telling you what they do I'm not telling you you have to do it I'm just saying this is how they do it if you want to follow it that's the structure it's out there and it's what most people follow or the structure that most people follow because also remember the Kenyans didn't come up with this training this training comes from Europeans, from you know the coaches, the big names, Renato Canova, all those famous coaches, well-known coaches that go to Kenya and then the Kenyans follow their plan. So it's not necessarily the Kenyan plan, but that's what they do. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helps you with your training. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm here to answer them. And if you need training, I can always help you with that or point you in the right direction at least of the right coach that can help you but yeah that's basically it i hope it works i hope it helps and i hope you like it thank you and i feel like if i was you i would spend like more time in kenya because like 
so peaceful here. It's fun, eh? Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't like it like when I go to Eldoret and stuff. That's like it's too crazy. much for yeah, me. Yeah, it's too much for yeah. But like here, it's just. Think so about nice. like you're, you're done with your workout. You just come here and chill, man. I know. You check, you, you check the views. You have nice views. And if you have your family here, like it's man, so you don't get nice. this in the US, man. Because mm -hmm. right now, you sit here like this. You spend about two dollars. <laughs> about two dollars. You got your soda. You got everything. You just chill, man. When you're done, you just go back home, man. So that's the good part. Yeah, I feel like people here in Kenya just like relax more. I mean, they work hard, but they also like they like they like uh, social life. Yeah. They always have time. Of course, American way, man. Everyone will be gone now, right now. Everyone I gotta is be somewhere. The I gotta go here. Yeah. Gotta go here. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is gone. And I'm part of that because, like, I'm always working too. Like, yeah. I get my run in, and at nine I have to be like sitting down because I'm coaching people yeah. and doing camps. I'm yeah. always like, you get into that. Like, you just it's like just crazy. Yeah. Because you have to pay bills. That's the other part. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So. And then even if you're paying your bills, you're like, I want more. I want more, and I yeah. want this, and I. Yeah. When I'm here, I'm like, dude, just yeah. like, yeah. chill a little. Yeah. I don't even feel guilty being here, just chilling. <laughs> 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 but back home, I would be freaking out, like I have to be somewhere or do something. So Paul, what are you going to do the rest of the day? Uh, I have a little meeting right now, like 12. And then after that, maybe uh, grab some li late lunch at 2 p.m. maybe. Light lunch and then stay until like around 4.30. 5 p.m. go for this evening run like 40 minutes 30 40 minutes and then and then call it a day yeah so yeah it's a good day definitely you know you know like that's the that's the crazy part that's the side part about the US man always you you go somewhere and chill you feel good yeah yeah <laughs> that's what you, I'm you just chill man you have a rush <laughs> man you just chill <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm here chilling and I don't feel guilty, but back <laughs> home, I'll be freaking out. No, but you know the difference is, the difference is uh, how people act, you know? If I was here and uh, we came and all of us and everyone leaves, you're the only one sitting here, you're gonna feel guilty. Yeah. You're like, man, everyone left, man. I'm the only guy here. <laughs> so. But here everyone's chilling, just having a good yeah, time. Yeah, just yeah. No, one is, no one is rushing. Especially like we had a good workout, like the part of the day, the most important part it's of the workout. day is yeah. done. Yeah. So now it's like yeah. just whatever. Jeff, look at this guy. <laughs>